Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I have this very, very um, disturbing story that I'm going to be sharing with you. It's very tragic as well. Uh, we are looking at um, these police officers, five black police officers, as a matter of fact. Uh, they've been fired for something that they did to a black man during a traffic stop. Uh, so just so you all know, I'm going to be bringing this story from two different perspectives. You know I got to do this. I got to chop this up in two different ways, possibly a third, okay? But you already know one of those perspectives. Some of you probably know right away, you're probably reading my mind because these five black police officers were fired for what they did to this man, okay? So anyway, let me get into the details of the story to though, for those of you who don't know already. Let's chop up what's going on with this. So uh, five Memphis police officers were fired after what they did to Ty Tyree Nichols, okay? Rightfully so. I am glad that they are no longer able to work as police officers. So Memphis police announced that five MPD officers involved in the arrest of Tyree Nichols have been fired. Uh, the following officers have been terminated. Um, Tardarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin III, Desmond Mills Jr., and Justin Smith. So another thing I noticed right away, we get their names right away. Rightfully so. We are glad to know who was behind all of this, right? Memphis police posted this statement to a Twitter as well as Facebook and provided the following photos. So we get photos of them right away. You see what's going on. Photos, names, the, the whole nine, Okay. Uh, the Memphis Police Department has concluded its administrative investigation into the tragic death of, of Mr. Tyree Nichols. Um, after a thorough review of the circumstances surrounding this incident, we have determined that five MPD officers violated multiple department policies, including excessive use of force, duty to intervene, and duty to render aid. Hmm. Early today, each officer charged was terminated uh, from uh, the Memphis Police Department. The police department is committed to protecting and defending the rights of every citizen in our city. The egregious nature of this incident is not a reflection of the good work that our officers perform, the integrity every day. Uh, this is according to Chief Sarolyn C.J. Davis of, of the Memphis Police. Now, another thing that I noted here, not only were they terminated, but they were also what, y'all? They were also charged. They were charged and terminated. <clears throat> hmm. And we see their faces and we know their full names right away. Rightfully so. Okay, so let me get into the story now. So right off the bat, we know their names. We know that they are clearly black. Their pictures have been put out there. Nobody's hiding their identity. They were arrested, not arrested, I'm sorry, charged and terminated. Now, we know that if this were five so-called white police officers, they would be on paid administrative leave. If that, in some cases, nothing happens. Months and months and months and weeks go by, sometimes years go by before anything is ever even checked into. And it's usually because the public applies pressure and says, oh no, you can't just get away with this, right? But many times you'll see five white faces there and there will be no investigation, no termination, no loss of income. As a matter of fact, in some cases, uh, they are deemed as heroes. Uh, they get promotions and all kinds of other good stuff, you know what I mean, here in America. Now, let me show you the difference here in this situation. I wanna show y'all something, <clears throat> okay? I need to show you all something. Now, the possible third scenario that I was gonna talk about, I'll get into that in just a moment here, okay? And some of you all aren't gonna like this, but I, I really don't care because the truth is what it is, whether any of us like it or not. The truth is what it is, okay? Truth is what it is. So what I wanted to show you all was this. Here we go, right there. 
Okay, the chief is a woman, Sarah Lynn C.J. Davis of Memphis Police. As we see, she is a woman. Look at that. Okay. And she is a black woman. So when she saw this injustice by these five black police officers against this one black man, she said, we are going to handle this right because what they did was not right. And we are not going to protect this evil. They took this man's life and they are going to pay for it. They are going to deal with the consequences of what they have done to this man. Okay. And so some of y'all, again, I already said you ain't going to like it. She's a black woman. And she charged five black police officers for what, for what they did to this black man. And I'm guessing that if the man that they did this to was white, she would have did the same thing. She is a woman. And so I already know that some black men are going to look at it like, see, she just used this as an opportunity to throw the book at five black men. Some black men think like that. Now, on the flip side of this, we know that if this was a white chief, male or female, nine times out of 10, they would have done the same thing to these five black police officers. Am I right? Are y'all hearing me? Okay. If this was a white chief, male or female, they would have done the same thing to these five black police officers. But here's the other end of the story. If it was a white chief and these were five white police officers, history has shown, present day has shown that many times white chiefs support white officers regardless to how hates. I mean, some of them have done worse than this, what these guys have done to innocent men. And their chief still manages to pull out innocence in his mind and justify the actions against that black body. Y'all know I'm telling the truth on everything that I hit. I think I hit the target on all of this. Now, of course, I'm not talking about in every situation, but we've seen enough cases to know that if it was a white chief, male or female, and these were five white officers who did this to a black male, anybody who's honest with themselves, a person who ain't going to sit up here and lie to your own self knows that that, that um, white chief would not hold those white officers guilty and would try to do everything in his power to let them walk free. And the, usually the only time they pull some type of investigation is when there's a, there's a public outcry. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Don't sit here and lie to yourself. And the also ugly part of this story is that there are a lot of black men who will feel like that black woman is out of pocket and out of order for charging and terminating these five black men. Even though it is a black man that they took out of here, there are a lot of black men who feel like this black woman is out of line and out of pocket to rule over these men in the way that she is doing and holding them responsible for this heinous crime. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Now, I didn't say all black men, but I said there are some black men. And again, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Anyway, I'm glad that they have been charged. And I'm glad that they are terminated because what they did to that man is not right. And they ought to be ashamed of themselves if they are indeed guilty. I'll just put it to you that way. I'm going to leave this disclaimer in this video. If they are indeed guilty, if the evidence proves and shows that what they did to this man. Anyway, I'm not going to go down that road. All we know is that the man is out of here. Okay, but my disclaimer is if, if it turns out they're guilty, then they are getting what they deserved. There's my disclaimer right there. I'm done. Say what you must in the comment section as always. Keep it tight and keep it right. Until next time, I'm out.